want to talk to you for a few minutes about series and parallel circuits because I'm often asked about them in class, mostly because people don't understand why adding more resistors into a parallel circuit actually lowers the resistance. It's actually not that crazy when you think about it slowly. I want you to imagine that here in Edmonton, we've got a single road. And that road has a pothole in it. Uh, that's not too hard to find, right? Now, if there was only one road for you to drive to get someplace in Edmonton, going through that pothole would be a little bit tough. Okay? Lots of cars going down that one road all the time. You can have a lot of traffic jams. It's going to be a big mess. Now, imagine that we add on another lane of traffic. Now, even though that lane of traffic has its own potholes, and that's going to slow down some cars when you're trying to go down that one road, now we have two roads. Is it going to be as hard for you to get through traffic? No, because now things are split up. It's easier. What we've done is we've lowered the resistance. Because we've given it more pathways, we've lowered the resistance, because now you've got a few different choices about where you want to go. Add another road in. You've lowered the resistance to the traffic even more because now there's three roads that you can go on to get through Edmonton. And the traffic on any one of these roads is going to be lighter. That's what parallel circuits are all about. Because by adding more resistors in parallel, you're giving more pathways. The overall resistance drops. It also does mean that when the current comes in, it splits up into all of these branches and then eventually comes back together again on the other side. That's the big secret about a parallel circuit and why adding more actually lowers the resistance. You have to use the formula 1 over R equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, and it keeps on going and going. You can't just take this formula and say, oh, I'll take the inverse of everything and it'll be okay. It won't. That's the way you got to do it. Now, when you're talking about something in series, it should now be obvious why the resistance increases. Okay? I've got that same road, and there's only one pothole in it. Well, you know, getting through it's not going to be great, but it is only one pothole. Now, add in another pothole. It's going to slow things down, right? Because there's more traffic, well, not more traffic, but more resistance. Any of the traffic trying to get through here is going to have a rougher time. Keep adding resistors, potholes, in series, and you increase the resistance. Because you're increasing the resistance, overall the traffic slows down. That's just like the current, right? Overall the current drops because the resistance is higher. Okay? Take a look at some of these questions. The best way to really get them into your head is to try a whole bunch and make sure that you're comfortable with solving for resistances, voltages, currents, stuff like that. Hope you have some fun with this. Uh, try to take it easy. See you around.